Welcome back to the channel guys. Hope you are having an awesome day. Let's try to make it better. We are going to focus on that diamond grind. More specifically, snipers in Call of Duty World War II. What you need to do to unlock them, some advice on helping you make this journey a little easier, and naturally showing off these little shiny bastards. So let's begin. First on the runway, we have the Elegant Carabin. This one is a fan favorite for a few different types of play styles. I really like the animation there. Moving on to number two, we have the Lee Enfield. Pretty decent diamond coverage, a little scuffing on the right, but overall, pretty cool looking. The M1903 with a scope so long makes your mom blush. This thing has got really cool coverage on it. And lastly, the one that's got quite a bit of wear and tear, we have the Car 98. This one is okay. Just when you thought it couldn't get sexier, you can slap these camos like Diamond on top of existing variants, like your epic and heroic ones. Right here's the Midnight 2 with the gold and diamond combination. Factory new, no scuffs, no missing areas. It just looks really nice. Look at that. Oh, it's so good. How do you get has these pwn? I got you. So for you to unlock diamond, you have to get gold for every one of the snipers in the game. That's four of them currently. And there's two phases to do this. So phase number one is you need 100 one-shot kills. Pretty simple and fairly easy to do with a lot of the snipers. Knocking that out opens up phase two for you to start on. You need two rapid kills five times, aka five double kills. You need to get five bloodthirsties with just the gun you are working on. You can't use pistols or lethal grenades or kill streaks. That breaks the streak. You don't want to ruin the chain, so I would recommend using non-lethal grenades that will help you in accomplishing this. This is likely to be the most challenging portion. Third in this phase, you need 10 payback medals. Fairly simple to do, you just gotta kill people that have killed you, which is going to happen and you will likely knock out without any effort at all. It's just going to happen while you do the next two portions. So, then you need 50 kills with the gun you are working on while it is inside the Mountain Division. This is the one native to snipers, pretty easy stuff. Then you need 50 kills while you are not in that division. I personally recommend infantry. The extra attachments can really come in handy. Things like extended mag, give you a bit more freedom and a little bit ease on trying to knock out things like bloodthirsty. So that is all you need to do. Now for the advice portion. Obviously the carabin is not a normal core sort of one shot kill weapon. You have to headshot to kill with it. So I would recommend using the carabin inside of hardcore TDM or free for all. TDM is probably the best choice. You're looking for maps like the USS Texas and the Gustav Cannon. That is going to make all of these fairly easy to get, especially the bloodthirsties. Now, another bit of advice I can give you if you're wanting to and you're noticing you're struggling a little bit with the Lee Enfield, I would also recommend taking that into Hardcore 2. I do get a consistent amount of hit markers with that weapon and of course the Carabin, but your call, do what you're comfortable with. Something else that doesn't really tie in with snipers is having a pistol as your secondary to use when somebody is camping or you are flanking is not a bad option. That is definitely one of the more time consuming portions of this diamond grind and if you're going for all diamond, finding a very easy target that's just sitting still or an AFK or somebody that's camping a window and you can get behind them, pull out the pistol and secure that headshot there just as one less one you have to work for later. The sniper ones will come in time. They're gonna be very easy to do. So that's just a kind of little tie in if you will with another section of diamond weapons. That's pretty much all I have for you guys. It's very easy to get these done. The one shot kills goes a lot smoother than some of the other ones that require headshots. So that portion's gonna be fast. The only thing that you might get held up on is bloodthirsties. Take it to hardcore if you need to. Make sure you try to find maps like Cannon, USS Texas, where you have long lines of sight. You have a lot of comfort there and maybe bring friends along. More friends equals more reliable teammates and of course more UAVs. That's going to come in handy. So if you dug what you saw today, ladies and gentlemen, hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned. Tick that little bell so you never miss a future upload. It's a two-part process now. Thanks, YouTube. And that's it. Like it if you liked it. I'll catch you with another Diamond Update tomorrow.